Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I'm gonna show you really quickly how to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.18.2. Let's get started. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to yet another Minecraft video here on the Daniel Plays YouTube channel and specifically YouTube channel because I want to let you know that we have just hit 50 followers on the Twitch channel as well so if you were a part of that thank you so much I appreciate that so much if you are not a part of the Twitch community yet go check out this thing that pops up on the screen right now or check the description for a link to Twitch be sure to click that follow button and then you will be notified whenever I start streaming on our own brand new Minecraft server which is play.danielplace.net so to get started installing sodium for Minecraft 1.18.2 first things first you have to load up your Minecraft launcher make sure it's set to the latest release 1.18.2 now if you've already played 1.18.2 without any mods then you can skip this step using the timestamps that you can see on on the video so be sure to select the latest release 1.18.2 it's important that you click play to make sure 1.18.2 is downloaded and installed to your PC first. There we go. Once you've made it to the main menu, you can now click quick game. Now the next thing to do and it's actually very very simple. There's barely anything that can go wrong. You click your browser. It can be any browser, but I'm just going to use Chrome. You can look everything up yourself or you can just use the link down below in the description, which will contain all the useful links that you're going to need to install sodium. But first things first, we need to install fabric and you can do so by going over to fabricmc.net or just typing in fabric MC in Google and you will see this and you go to the first page right there and you will also end up over here. Click this download here button. Click download for Windows if you're on Windows and if you're not on Windows, you're gonna have to click the universal jar. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click download for Windows. This will download the installer and you just click it. As you can see, it says Minecraft version 1.18.2, which you can select from this list if it's actually selected a different version for some reason. Make sure it says create profile here and just click install. This usually takes just a few milliseconds for some people it may take a few seconds don't worry about that then just click ok once it says successfully installed now you can close this launcher and now the next thing to do is already just download sodium that's it so what you do is actually do a google search for sodium 1.18 for example because it will also take you to the 1.18.2 version actually this is not a direct link so we are taken to files now but you can go over to description to go to the actual page right here and this will also be the page that you'll find yourself at when you use the link in the description just scroll down here to where it says Minecraft 1.18 and find the one that says sodium MC 1.18.2 that's important click the download file button right here wait five seconds for the download to start and then as you can see it will download a Java file for some people this may have a different icon but for now it doesn't really matter just drag it over to your desktop to make it very easy to access later on because what you want to do now is actually go to your search bar type in percent app data percent hit enter then click the dot minecraft folder now if you've never installed mods before you won't have a mods folder so what you want to do is right click somewhere new folder and name it mods lowercase just like that now i'm going to just make this a little bit smaller so we can drag something in click the mods folder this should be empty if you've never installed mods if you actually have and they're for an older version of minecraft be sure to actually remove them from this folder if you don't get rid of them fabric will crash guaranteed now drag in all your 1.18.2 mods together with sodium because you can combine sodium with other mods as well if you like and now we've actually successfully installed sodium this is it it is very simple all you've got to do now is just close this window, open up the Minecraft launcher, and there you go. It's automatically selected the fabric loader. If you can't find it over here, go over to installations right here. As you can see, you can find it over here. Should you have a ton of profiles, you can just use the search bar and type in fabric and it will show you the fabric loader for 1.18.2. Now, all you got to do, actually, before we get started, I want to give you a quick tip. You can click these three little dots, click edit, and then under more options right here you can come down to where it says jvm arguments now if you have four gigabytes of ram in your system then don't even touch this setting because it will only make minecraft run worse but if you have eight gigabytes of ram or even more you can easily upgrade this to 
4G, which means that instead of two gigabytes, it will allocate four gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. So because you're watching this video trying to make Minecraft run better with sodium, I thought I'd give you some advice on how to make it run even faster because sometimes the issue is not enough RAM being allocated to Minecraft. So if you have eight gigabytes in your system, you can set this to four. And if you have even more, you can set this to six. For example, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm gonna set it to six because it doesn't make sense to set it to something like 20. That doesn't do anything and that will just make your entire PC run slow, even if you have a ton of RAM. So now you just click save. And now if you click play, you'll play fabric with sodium and a lot more RAM. So here we are in Minecraft 1.18.2 slash fabric modded. So that means we've successfully installed the mods that we wanted to install. Now, if I go over to single player and go into a world that says 1.18.2, there we go. Now, if I hit escape and go into options, video settings, look at how different that looks. That's because this is what the sodium video settings look like. This is how you install sodium for Minecraft 1.18.2. I hope this actually worked and this should now automatically give you more FPS and better performance just by having this installed. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it if you actually did. And if this video actually did teach you how to install sodium for Minecraft 1.18.2, then be sure to hit that thumbs up. And of course, if you really like content like this, then be sure to also hit that subscribe button down below. Like I said, check out my Twitch channel because it's doing good and uh, we're growing a really great community over there. So you definitely want to be a part of that. I usually stream on our own Minecraft server, play.danielplays.net, which means you can watch me play on the server and you can also play with me on the server server. That's pretty cool and it's usually a lot of fun. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!